Hello everyone, this is Lion75Y again. Uh, this is the second part of my tutorial about the how to set up the Airbus kitchen. Um, in company we have Slack radio with our background music. So on my first video um, I explain how to start the kitchen and everything and how to dump the actual stock room. So we we are now gonna see you know what happens after it finished though. So once the actual um, kitchen finish, it should show this. It should show all done. Uh, kitchen has kitchen has been created successfully. So once it's finished, just close the kitchen and then go back to the actual folder where you guys have all your stuff though. So as you guys can see, it shows the same folders that we have created and then you might want to see you know like so then what happened like what's going on here so now you know you guys don't see nothing different but actually there is though there's a small difference you guys remember the actual folder that we created uh, on my last video uh, the stock folder where we put the actual stock ROM and everything um, we're gonna click double click right there and then as you guys can see there is our actual um, NBH file that we extract here from your, from our actual stock ROM. So, but then there is something interesting though. There is actually two more files, and then there is a folder called dump. So basically, we're going to double click on the actual dump um, folder, and then you guys can see it has create everything for us. There are still my tools. There is our tools. And there is the actual Airbus kitchen application, but it has created some other folders. So it has created the EXT, OM, ROM, and SYS, which these are really important files. Also. So what I personally do is I create another folder and move all of these files to my new folder. So I don't have to, you know, be clicking a lot or messing around. So. So once you guys move there, this is how it looks basically. So basically on this um, actual four folders that have been created, the AXT, the OM, the ROM and the SYS, those are really important. So you, um, right here on the ROM and the SYS, that's where you, you guys are going to keep the actual system for your for your new ROM and everything and when you guys are gonna cook it and everything. This release volume, the um, temp, um, the destination, build lock. The actual kitchen will actually make them for you so you guys don't have to worry about it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna look at the actual ROM folder to see what's in there. Just double click. On our ROM folder, we're gonna have two, two folders. So we're gonna have one with our system name, and then another one with um, another folder called Chariot. So right here is where we keep our ROMs and everything. We can download the actual ROMs and systems from the actual uh, we. I mean the XDA developers. A couple of our friends have uploaded great ROMs and everything and I mean, I mean systems and everything so you guys can uh, create your new ROM with this new system so. so when you guys download a system or a ROM um, an upgrade ROM from the actual XDA developers or some other web page like PPC Geeks um, so on the actual ROM in these two carpets I mean uh, folders what needs to be in there like we're gonna see the actual volume folder so these are really important files so automatically when you guys go into this folder you guys should see the actual 21889 system uh, you might guys have a different system depends on you know how updated your stock ROM was or anything like that so I was working on the actual 21901 system I know it's kind of old system for right now but I mean you know, I was trying to set up my kitchen to make it work and everything, so I was just using the 21901. So basically, 
one is to be inside this um, system though so there's there has to be your OM zip kernel so basically this one is a really important that's where it's gonna have like you know all your kernel and you know DLLs which does the actual modules and everything and then when you guys actually download the actual system like 21901 uh, you guys need to make sure that these two files are included the boot HB and the actual boot these ones are two really important files which the actual um, phone will need so it can boot up and everything and then these are really important to for the system to run too though so you guys need to have something like this and then in our shared folder we're gonna have the same thing but like on 21 on one we're gonna have something different though we're not we're not gonna to have the om zip kernel on this one we need to have the ms zip kernel so we're gonna have more modules and this one is from it's actually where it keeps like all our modules too and everything so the ROM can run so that's what you guys need to have on those two on those two uh, folders okay then we're gonna look at the actual system folder on the system folder we're gonna have another folder with our system number like I said I was you know using the 21901 so we need to have this number up here inside the inside this folder the 21901 we're gonna have another three folders so we'll have a DPI 182 and a DPI 9182 with our resolution vertical and horizontal of our device uh, you you guys might have a different uh, DPI, like it depends on the phone. But like I'm using the HTC Touch Pro 2, so it, it's actually a 182 resolution, horizontal 480 and vertical 800. So you guys need to have this according to your device. So uh, then in our shared folder, what we're gonna have inside is two more. Two more um, folders one which is a common folder and then the other one it has a 0409 so you guys might say like okay what's the 0409 means if you guys already told me like 21901 is a system so basically the 0409 is actually the language so uh, you guys will look it up 0409 is the language for English I believe uh, there is a 040C or something like that is for Spanish and some other languages so so right here you guys need to have the um, the number for the actual language that you guys want so like 0409 is my default one which is English that's what I'm gonna use so inside the 0409 you guys are gonna have all these other folders on these other folders are like the actual programs or applications with the ending with language 0409 so like we got like welcome center like one note language the microsoft office the media and everything and, you know everything needs to be on 0409 so that's what we need to have in the shared folder on our common folder we need we need to have the actual um programs so like we just have or modules inside these programs like browsing the brands and everything so that's what we need to have inside this so so when you guys download it from the actual XCA developers or like PBC gigs that come the systems that's what needs to be inside the shared folder inside the DPI uh, 182 resolution vertical and horizontal we are going to have another two folders with the same the 0409 and the common And then looks like I'm running out of time, so I will be posting on my next video uh, what's inside these other uh, folders. Thank you.